close to producing a brand new volcanic eruption. Although Lake Tahoe is not volcanic in origin, it does theoretically have a very very low potential to be the site of a future volcanic eruption. Today's video will discuss why this is the case, and how far this magma migrated upwards in 2003. For those of you living outside the United States, Lake Tahoe is located in northeastern California 130 kilometers east-northeast of the city of Sacramento, where it straddles the border with Nevada. In this section of the United States, the crust has a variable thickness due to a range of geologic factors. Underneath Lake Tahoe, it is specifically around 42 kilometers or 26.1 miles thick. The aforementioned earthquakes directly caused by underground magma movement rather than triggered by stress transfer onto nearby faults all occurred at between 30.8 and 22.7 km depth, meaning magma never truly got any shallower than 14.1 miles depth, only making its way 46% through the thick continental crust. I interpret first magma intrusion that two batches of magma were sent upwards in separate areas, hence the two separate trends that get shallower over time. The first batch of presumably basaltic magma migrated upwards at an abysmally slow average rate of 4.17 meters an hour between August 10 and October 3rd, reaching as shallow as 23.6 kilometers depth. While this initial swarm was centered beneath the spot three quarters of a mile southeast of Carnelian Bay, the next intrusive episode was centered directly beneath Carnelian Bay. The second intrusion began on November 4, second magma intrusion and across the next 37 days migrated upwards to a depth of 22.7 km depth. I want to note that both of these intrusions likely started a bit earlier than I noted, as very few if any earthquakes occur in the deepest layer of the crust, so there isn't a good methodology of detecting deep magma movement at those depths. So, why did these two magma intrusions occur? For reference, Lake Tahoe is not a volcanic caldera lake, but rather a half graben lake, basin and range province existing in a north to south trending low point in the crust. This half graben marks the westernmost extent in the vicinity for the vast basin and range province. East of the Sierra Nevada mountains and west of the Colorado Plateau, the crust is slowly stretching and spreading apart, in some areas having been stretched to double its original length. This stretching has created thin zones in the crust which allows magma to travel upwards and on rarer occasions erupt onto the surface. Thus, the harmless 2003 magma intrusion which won't advance any further upwards and is slowly solidifying at depth may have just been an example of the magma intrusions that occasionally occur in this province, possibly utilizing one of several regional fault lines as a path of least resistance. Or, while this is a bit more of a stretch, volcanic field it could have been related to what was presumed to be an extinct volcanic field that I call the West Tahoe Volcanic Field. Between 2.3 and 0.9 million years ago, seven volcanic vents were created which primarily erupted basaltic lava flows. There is a possibility that this 2003 intrusion might simply be the most recent attempt of magma to intrude into this volcanic field but a link between the two isn't very strong, I just thought it was worth mentioning. I hope you found this video interesting. As a final note, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.